how to get intense base hits just like this. What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I wanna walk you through on how to get base hits just like this for your music videos and really just any video. I'm gonna be using After Effects today. So to achieve this effect, I'm gonna be using the Liquid Distortion Effects Pack on our site. It's actually a collaboration pack with Chestnut Edits. It's this liquid distortion effect. And this effect is really cool. It has this blobby, warpy effect, and it's actually really easy to use. There's a lot of cool editors who've already used this pack. It's been used on a Chris Brown music video, which is super sick for the example right here. Um, so I have my clip here in After Effects, and what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna duplicate it three times. The middle layer, we're gonna go ahead and name that Displace. The top layer, we're gonna name that Roto, and then the bottom can just be Back or Background. Um, so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna rotoscope out this top layer. I'm not gonna dive into rotoscoping. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube. I've covered it, it's pretty easy. Just double click into your layer, grab this tool right here, draw around your subject, then hold Alter Option to delete the parts that are not your subject that you don't wanna roto out. Use page up and page down to move forward frame by frame. Do this through your entire clip and then go ahead and hit freeze right here. Once you have your clip rotoscoped, I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. So this is my scene before, let's do it. Let's just play that. This is my scene, it has a cool punch in that we did in camera. So I'm, I started my rotoscope right after that. So if I go ahead and turn off the eyeballs here, my roto starts right about here and go ahead and play that. So this is what comes in the pack right here. You get swipe, star, spiral, and circles. And then you have a bonus preset. I'll drag that on later in After Effects to show you what it does. But if I go ahead and just bring these into Premiere so we can kind of preview them. So we have all these really cool circles and we have some really cool shapes as well, like some stars that give some really cool effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in one of these circles. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place that in between Roto and Displace. Then I'm gonna go ahead and drag that right here. And then if it's not scaled to frame size, you see how it's not that large. Uh, we can just right click, we can go up to transform, and then we can go to fit to comp. If you wanna do that quicker, you can just, if you wanna do that quicker, just hit control alt F, and then that's gonna full screen it for you. So we're actually gonna go ahead and turn the eyeball off on this one, and we're gonna go type in CC blob, and we're gonna grab CC Bobby blobby lies. And we're gonna go ahead and drag that onto the displace layer. So your screen's gonna look all weird like this. That is not the effect yet. We're gonna go ahead and change that to large circle or whatever effect you dragged in from the liquid distortion folder. And now we play that through, we have the cool blobby bass hit effect. And one cool thing that we can do is we can actually go ahead and play around with the size of it with the cutaway so we can make it thinner like that. We can make it thicker if we go the other way. Um, so I kind of like that. And then what we can do is we can drag on some of these effects. So we have tint right here. Um, go ahead and pick any color that you like. I'm gonna go for like a light blue. So we have some blue right there. So let's say we, let's say we wanted something more intense. We can go ahead and drag in the tri circle. So that happens at least three times. So we'll go ahead and drag that in the middle. Go ahead and delete that one. I'll go ahead and drag this. And I'm just gonna hit Control Alt F to make that full screen. I'm gonna turn the eyeball off. And we would just come back into here and we would change that to try. And the effects are gonna be carried over. So you see we have three effects. I think these are a little too big. I'm gonna go ahead and play with the cutaway, make it a little bit smaller. I think that looks pretty good. So we have three of these. So one thing that I think really helps is adding a really cool glow. So one plugin that I really like is Deep Glow because you can purchase it and you have it forever. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag on Deep Glow onto this and we're gonna drag that, all the effects go onto the displace layer. So now if we go ahead and play that, we should already have a glow, not even playing with anything. Let's see what it looks like. So not even playing with anything, this looks really cool. I really like the effect of this, the Deep Glow is a really nice solid glow and you can really play around with all the effects and styles within it. And it even has tint and chromatic aberration. So we could enable that and see what that does. We can bump the intensity on that. Let's see what that does. And we can get some chromatic aberration around the sides, which I think is a pretty good look. It also has tint built into it. So we could just use that. 
Let's see if that tint looks better. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Let's make it red and see if that makes a difference. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Another cool thing I like to add is maybe a blur. So we'll type in radial blur. Let's grab the CC and we'll drag that on the displace layer. And I feel like it just gives it a little bit of movement, like it's actually coming from the center. Something very light, maybe like two. Something to kind of just soften it up a little bit. But what this needs is a little bit of sauce. If you want to add that sauce to your video, you definitely need shake sauce. It's actually from a good friend of mine, Brian Delamata, and I'm so glad he came out with this plugin because it's hard to find a good shake plugin. Sapphire Shake is pretty good, but Sapphire is crazy expensive. Red Giant Universe Camera Shake is iffy, and I hate paying subscription-based plugins, so I love that you could just purchase this one time, and then you have a lifetime of updates whenever he updates it. I'm gonna use the shake sauce plugin. I'm gonna hold Control A. I'm gonna pre-comp all this. I'm gonna move Move it all into one so we just have this clip right here i'm gonna go up to window extensions and i'm gonna open up shake sauce so here's the plugin this thing is sick um i think i'm gonna go with something already keyframed i don't really want to do a bunch of i hard hit with flash that might be the one so you can actually hover over each one and you can see what they do so i'm gonna make an adjustment layer and there we go, she applied everything to the adjustment layer. So I'm gonna drag this as soon as this hits. So it should, I think I actually have to hit this little guy right here and I have to line these up. So honestly, that was really easy to do that effect yourself would take quite a while and Sapphire is expensive. Red Giant's not the best. I really like this. Make sure to go check out Shake Sauce. It definitely adds a nice shake hit to your music video. I think this is probably one of the best ways to get some intense bass hits in your music videos. So I'm Tyler Casey with Cinepacks. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.